Alright, I'd like to start or suggest. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to pick the appropriate RAM for your AM, for your next AMD gaming computer. Or just general purpose computer, as long as it's AMD. AMD is still pretty picky about the RAM kits that you use and being able to just turn on XMP profile to get your RAM to run at the speed that you can get to run that. You know, in my situation, I've got 3000 megahertz RAM kit that I can only run at 2666 because I didn't check the QVL list for the RAM. Today I'm going to show you how not to make this mistake. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to get this done. Alright all, like I said in the intro, you know, I'm, when I ordered my RAM, I didn't check the QVL list on the motherboard to make sure I could get XMP profile to run on it. So my RAM's running at space frequency of 2666 instead of going up to 3000 megahertz. In this video, I want to show you how to prevent you from doing this and to make sure since you're going to be paying more money for faster RAM, you're going to be able to get that RAM to run on your next AMD build. Um, AMD, even with Zen 2, uh, they're still pretty picky about what RAM kits is compatible with the motherboards. And that's what this video is about, just to show you how to make sure that you're going to be able to run your RAM at the boost frequency with the XMP easily without having to manually overclock it. So let's get into it here. I'm going to pull up my web browser. <clears throat> okay, I'm using Google. You can use anything you want. I like Google, so I'm going to use Google. I'm going to use my motherboard since it's already been searched for the Gigabyte B450DS3HM or the B450MDS3H. I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to go to the manufacturer's website for it. I'm going to go over here to support. Alright, then you go over here to the support list. And this is the memory support list uh, that was put out on 9-3-2019. And this is for the Mattis CPUs. Okay, here's what the QVL list looks like. Two things you really need to pay attention to on here. The first column is your speed. The second one is the modular supplier. The den density. This is per stick. If it's a 4 gig stick, 8 gig stick, 16 gig stick. The next thing you really need to pay attention to is this modular PN number. That's what's going to tell you if the RAM that you want to use is compatible with the motherboard or not. And over here is your timings. That's pretty, pretty good. Thing. Um, you know your timing is pretty important but if this number matches up you know whenever you find your AM1 new egg or Amazon you check this number here you know and you should be able to look at the timings and whatnot when you when you see what you want so let's go over here and uh, we'll get new egg pulled up I like new egg put these side by side so we can have an easy comparison all right Let's go into the components, the memory, desktop. Okay, you got DDR4 memory because it is a Ryzen build. Uh, everybody knows Ryzen likes faster memory, at least up to 36, 3600 speeds. So we'll go to 36, they get all the way down to 3000 speeds. And you can pick whatever you want, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. We want 8 gig modules. We'll do uh, two 8 gigs. Makes it a total of 16 gigs. That's pretty pretty common now. Alright, and here we got some RAM pulled up now. Alright, um, features, let's do the lowest price. Alright, um, uh, this team force got 4 eggs out of 5 with 10 reviews. Shell for 50 bucks. It's only got three, three reviews. That's four out of five eggs. Um, there's the Gel Evo Spear AMD edition. It even says AMD edition, so it's gonna probably be on the list. Um, we'll use this as an example for today. Let's get this pulled up. All right, and this is. Uh, this is what I'm talking about right here. It's rated. It's SD, SD RAM, DDR4 memory. 
It'll boost up to 3,000 if your XMP is working, where you can overclock it to 3,000. But if not, it will run at 2,400 speeds. Drop that last zero off. I don't know why they throw that last zero on there, but it's 2,400 if XMP don't, look, don't work on it. All right, here's the number you need to look at. It's the GASB416GB30000C16ADC number. That's there's the number you need to find in your list. Okay. It's a 3000 speed kit. So you come over to your list, find the 3000 speed. Uh, it's 32, 32, there's a 3000. Okay, we're down here in the 3000s. It's gel. So you gotta find the gel. Uh, okay, there we go. Gel 3000 speed gel. They got quite a few, they got a couple kits listed here. So it's possible that this is going to be on here. Um, we're looking at for GASB 416 GB 3000C 16ADC. Okay, so that, that is on the list. So you know if you buy this RAM and you go into build your AMD system, you go into the BIOS, turn on XMP profile, you know this RAM will work with AMD. Um, I picked this because it's an easy one because it says AMD edition, so pretty much I knew going into it that it was going to be on the list. So, but yeah, it is on the list, so it is compatible, so you can run it at 3000 megahertz by turning on the XMP profile. All right. There's also another way you want to do this. Okay, say if you like A data. All right, we'll take this 3000 A data right here, 8 gig sticks, okay? If you want to do it the opposite way, and you just want to look at the manufacturers and the speeds of it, because you want 8 gig modulars or whatever, you know, you pick what, what you like here. You can take and copy this number right here. And you can paste it over here. And your new egg search, hit the search button, and it will pull up that pull up that kit for you. It's a little bit more difficult to do it this way because you don't know what it looks like. You know, which a lot of people care about what colors they pick and whatnot, so it's easier better to do it the other way. But you know because you pulled that off the QVL list, you know this here XM XPG RAM is going to be compatible with your motherboard and it will run at 3000 speeds instead of the 2400 speeds. But that mod, that uh, desktop memory model is what you need to look at when you're looking at the ads on Newegg or Amazon or whatever. And just come over here and compare it to the QVL list like I showed you how to pull up. Now, some, some motherboards will be different ways of getting into the QVL list. You know, you'll just have to look around the manufacturer website for your motherboard to find this list. It's usually under the support. Some, some of them put it under the download page. Some of them's got a QVL list right there on the main support page. You know, so it's going to vary a little bit. That's the way to make sure that that RAM's going to run at that XMP profile with the motherboard that you've chosen. And you're going to, like I said, you know, you're going to pay more money for the faster speed RAM. AMD likes faster speed RAM. So, you know, and you want to get all you can out of your money nowadays. I know RAM's falling big time in prices and it's a little bit more affordable. But if you're going to spend extra money for that extra speed that AMD likes, to get more performance out of your system, you might as well make sure that you can use it. You know, don't do like I did and just order RAM and hope that, hope that it works. You know, now if your RAM don't show up on the QVL list, it don't mean it won't work with XMP profile. But you got a big chance that it ain't going to work, like I did. You know, and that's why I'm kind of putting this out. You know, just to kind of help you all understand how to do this, show you how it's done. You know, to make sure you can get your speeds out of your RAM, because I should have done it with mine before I bought my RAM and I didn't do it. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw here today. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. There's that comment section. You know, every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, I do a live show. I'll go down through the comments and answer any questions. Put uh, down there. Uh, you can stay. You can 
can come visit and hang out with me if you like on a Saturday morning if you don't have nothing else to do. I'll say there's that subscribe button down there if you really liked what you saw here today. You won't be notified the next time I put out a video or the next time I go live. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on for you can be notified next time I do something on YouTube or I put something up. With all that being said, y'all have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.